Quercus stellata is the post oak. This is in the white oak group. This is a plant that is closely associated with the blackjack oak in the cross timbers uh, forest area that is goes across central Oklahoma. So you'll you'll hear post oaks and blackjacks um, kind of associated together a lot in conversation, especially if you're talking about environmental groups of plants. Um, not a huge oak, but up to 50 feet tall. It grows kind of slow. You've got this sort of round or oval uh, shape to the canopy. The leaves are alternate and simple, like the other oaks. The shape on this, it's in the white oak group, so it does have these lobes, but the lobes are rounded with none of the bristles at the end, so no bristles or teeth or sharp teeth, just rounded lobes. An eventual shape on the leaf is somewhat like a cross. So you have these lobes that sort of line up somewhat like a cross. Um, kind of a dull green, dark dull green to the foliage color. The fall color can be kind of yellowish brown depending on the uh, climate of the season but could be as bright as kind of a, a reddish orange. Like the other oaks, again, we have the, the multiple buds at the end of the stem. We have the catkins for the flowers um, with the female flowers on the stem, just sort of a rounded acorn um, maturing in one season because it's the white oak group. Then you have this sort of whitish gray coloration to the bark. You have furrows rather than scales. Um, so you have the ridges and the valleys of the furrowed bark with the whiter coloration of the white oak. Uh, 